Hello everyone, welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial series. Today we're based on this small function at layer to build up our first neural network, just like this one. Today we'll go through all the steps like this. Uh, you don't worry about the uh, example code I will upload to, to the uh, online so you can download it from my uh, description. You can, you can find the link in the description. So, uh, firstly, I will show the result for today. So, that is the result of this. Yeah, basically, all these numbers are the arrows or the cost or otherwise the loss. The loss of this neural network for every 50, stop, 50 steps, I think. So, this arrow is the uh, arrow between the prediction and the real data so uh, if you can see the arrow keep decreasing that means the network are learning something or they trend very well uh, so we're going to show the results today uh, first step is to import the numpy and second step is we, we build up this add layer function so uh, before that we're going to make up some data looks like the real data so for example the x data equals to numpy dot line space this one is to make up some data from uh, minus one to one and uh, I will make three samples, uh, 300 samples and uh, add one dimension to this one, to this sample to new axis to, to add this one dimension to this sample so that is uh, one column, just one column 300 samples, one column so the y is equal to y data data is equal to numpy dot square I use the square uh, of x data and uh, uh, let's minus 0.5 just this one and to make this data looks like real data we are going to add some noise to this data so noise the numpy dot uh, random dot normal distribution and zero mean of mean of zero and standard deviation of zero 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 point zero five and uh, the shape will looks like the data shape x data shape so i just put the shape of x data so we're going to add this noise to the network so if we if we're going to visualize this data well I will uh, input the uh, uh, mat, matplotlib uh, dot plot as plt. So this one is the visualization tool for plotting data. So I just plot this data for you to just have a look. So plt dot uh, scatter so x data y data so plt dot show okay yeah this is our data right over here so with the noise the data looks like very noisy so uh, this is the data we're going to use for today um, okay, let's just come it out and uh, keep going. Now we have the real data, make up the real data, then we can just define the placeholder for inputs of the network. The placeholder is actually xx equals to uh, placeholder that we'll, we have shown before in last few tutorial dot float 32 and the shape is none and one this means the none is representing the uh, number of samples 
So uh, whatever number of samples passed to the placeholder, uh, the placeholder can hold on that number of place number of sample. So this this one is now to accept all possible uh, number of samples. And this one is how many features for this uh, X data. So in here, I just have one feature, so I put one over here. And the uh, Y axis is the same as X axis in this example, uh, because we don't have, we have uh, a number of samples in here, and only one output for the Y axis, because Y axis is just one number. So that's all. Then we start to add a hidden layer by using this function. So that is to L1, the hidden layer 1, or layer 1 is add layer. In the input, if you still remember, the input is access this one because that is the actual input. And um, uh, the input size is this one we only have one feature for this sample so and the output size I uh, assume it will have 10 uh, hidden units or hidden neuron for this layer so I use 10 but you can choose the number you want but uh, in this example it's 10 and activation function I use T F dot and dot this one I mentioned before this is a nonlinear function so I use this one and what else I are going I were going to add the output layer and the output layer for the input of out, output layer is the output of uh, 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 layer one so uh, the prediction for output layer prediction is at layer and this layer's input is L1 and the L1 is the output that return from this function so that is L1 and as you remember the, the, the size the uh, neurons in neuro, in the neurons in uh, L1 is 10 so this is the in size input size 10 and output size will be this one because uh, we are going to predict just one number so this is the output size and uh, the activation function we're going to use in here we just don't use anything <laughs> but it's none because the, the, this one is uh, uh, regression problem so I just use the noun to, to represent a linear function and in here we're going to calculate the errors between the prediction and real data so this is the loss or error that you can use either word to describe this one reduce reduce mean uh, and tf dot reduce sum and tf dot square y s minus prediction uh, let me see reduce reduction reduction in in the one right be right um, now this this loss is to compute the square error of my uh, prediction the difference between the prediction and real data and sum all the samples sum the, all the sample together and uh, and take the mean value of those uh, samples then uh, return this loss for this one is a single value so this is the loss for all samples and all features and later on we're going to trend uh, to define the trend step 
is equal to tf dot trend dot uh, gradient descent uh, optimizer point one as the learning rate and minimize minimize the loss. Um, it's to say we're going to use the gradient descent optimizer but you can choose another optimizer if you want and uh, we just use the basic one to this problem because we don't need any other one if you're a beginner, if you're a beginner of this uh, uh, neural network you just use try this out <laughs> no problem just try this out and uh, use this optimizer uh, to learn with 0.1 as the learning rate and use that to minimize this loss or this error between the prediction and the real data. So this is trend step. Um, before after that we're going to have a very important step that is to define the initial in, uh, initialization of all variables tf dot uh, initial Initialization, initialize uh, all variables. Okay, and then to define a session, uh, tf dot session, and use the session to run the initial operation. So that is session dot run um, initial. Right. Oh, good. This is the whole structure of this neural network. We have defined two layers. One is add layer, uh, one is the hidden layer, one is the predicting layer, output layer. So now uh, we're going to start our training step. Session.run, the train, train step. This is the train step over there to optimize, uh, use the optimizer to minimize the loss. Um, and we're going to pass two values because all this step is uh, related to this two placeholder because we're going to use uh, the x x and y as to all training step so this is two placeholder we're gonna pass two value into the placeholder so feed the action uh, x x x data y as y data right yeah so for every training step we're going to use x data and y data to train the neural network uh, if you know the stochastic gradient descent, uh, that is to use a part of x data and a part of y data to train this neural net. So this, this example, I'm not going into that in detail. So I just used a whole bunch of data to train this uh, train step. So I'm going to uh, so and then in order to plot or print in order to print the uh, training result we're going to print the loss or the error between them if the error or loss reducing then the neural network are learning something so we're going to print for every 50 steps print session that run the loss right uh, if we're going to plot the loss the loss is something that based on yeah you can see here the loss is over here something based on ys and prediction and the prediction is something based on x's right so we still gonna use ys and x's these two placeholders so uh, we're going to pass the value for these two placeholder diction and just copy and paste this is the same step. All right. This is our first neural network. Okay, should be fun. Let's me let us sum it up. So we build a function over here, add layer. Then we make up some real data, looks real, 
and we define two placeholder for my X and Y S and define the first layer as L1 and uh, define the output layer as prediction. The, the, the product of output layer is prediction and then we optimize the uh, loss or cost between the real data and prediction then we run this trend step and fit the trend step with x s and y s and we predict or we plot or we print the loss for every 50 step so we just run this oh what's wrong initialize something typo over here in initialize right should be fine right now okay that's it so at the initial stage we have a, 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 we have a rel relatively we have a relatively large uh, error or large loss right so for next step they are trying to minimize that so reduce the loss so for you can see for every step they are reducing the loss so at the end of step the, the loss is just 0 0.00398 like this so this is to say that the new network is learning something right okay this is all for today and next tutorial we're going to talk about how to uh, visualize our results I mean in the, uh, the in the first tutorial the first field of tutorial you see that uh, we're going we're using the red line to fit in the data so next tutorial we're going to talk about how to plot that result okay. if you have any questions just leave it as, a, as the comments and I will take my time to look at it I hope you will like it please subscribe to my channel to watch more tutorials about tensorflow or machine learning see you next time bye